Hey ladies, how are you doing today? I hope you are doing well. If you're seeing this on TikTok, this is TikTok Live. It is Thursday, the 22nd of February. If you're actually seeing this on YouTube, then you're seeing it later on on this day. I wanted to talk to you ladies about, well, first of all, if you don't know who I am, if you're new to my channel, a lot of you are. My name is Coach B. Wiley. The B stands for Brooke. I'm a certified professional life coach. I specialize in dating and communicating. So all my videos will be about dating dilemmas, dating drama, dating tips, dating advice. And then as far as communication goes, I will talk all about how to communicate more efficiently and effectively when it comes to the people in your life, such as your coworkers, your friends, your family, your children, your boss, whoever you need to talk to, even a stranger. That's the kind of content I put out. Disclaimer, I have allergies. My nose is stuffy. I may sneeze and or cough excuse me so today i wanted to talk about <clears throat> the independent woman because remember the song by destiny's child independent women and so it's okay number one to be independent and a lot of women who are single and who have been single for an extended amount of time meaning let's say like a year plus whether she is getting out of a breakup from a relationship coming out of a situationship or coming out of a divorce, or maybe her spouse actually is not here anymore, whatever your case may be, a lot of women find their independence, and that is A-OK. -okay. It is A-OK -okay to have your independence. However, ladies, when you're single and then you're dating with the intention to be in a relationship, and as you're dating, you want to make sure you're not the one trying to take over. I know that you've been paying all your bills, taking care of your home, taking care of your children if you have them. However, if you want a man to step into your life, you got to create space. And a lot of independent women have a problem with creating appropriate space for a man to naturally and organically flow into your lives. And so he comes in and it's like this big gate that he has to either climb, jump over, bust down or just say screw it I ain't about to do all this and he goes the other way and he gets with a woman that is independent but she created space so if you're coming into this video I'm talking about women who are a little too independent even though they say they want a man to come in and they want that man to lead and if you're watching this and if you're just like well be wily I don't want to get played I don't want to solely put all my eggs in his basket and then he screw me over. The thing about it is when you're independent and you have discernment and you've taken your pause for the cause while single and what your pause for the cause is, is when you're literally not dating anyone. You're not dating anyone. You're not talking to any man. You're literally pondering, dealing, healing, and getting over your previous breakups your previous situationships, that previous relationship, whatever you want to call it. You're taking that pause for the cause to get yourself together and make sure you're a better version of yourself as you go into this next dating situation. And a lot of people don't want to take that pause for the cause because they don't want to be by themselves. They think that they could just be with Johnny over here and her and Johnny stop dating. And then a week later, they get with Robert. And you've done no dealing with what happened with you and Johnny. You didn't even understand why you were having the issues you were having. You didn't get down to the bottom of it. You didn't take a look at yourself and say, like, what could I do about me? And a lot of women think that there's nothing wrong with us. And it doesn't it doesn't make rational or logical sense because we all have our flaws. We all have things we need to work on. Think about it. When we were all kids, we all had to learn. We had to learn how to walk, how to talk, how to eat, what we liked. We had to literally learn. And how do we do that? from the observation of others and then others actually teaching us. So what can you do to learn? You can observe that last previous dating situation and you can run through the conflicts and disagreements and things that maybe annoyed you about him or irritated you about him. And you can think to yourself, like self, I saw these red flags or self, why would I be attracted to a guy that I know doesn't have the same religious beliefs as me? Self, why would I be attracted to a guy that I know I can't stand cigarette smoke. My mother smoked cigarettes. It always bothered me. So why would I then put up with someone that chain smokes every day? Make it make sense. Self, I watched my dad cheat on my mother 
in their relationship my whole entire life. So self, why would I then think it's okay for me to again get with a cheater and date a cheater thinking I could change him? It doesn't make any sense. So if you're in this situation, it's time to do some self-reflection. And it doesn't mean you're the bad guy. It just means that you got some tweaking to do. That's it. We all need tweaking. We all have tweaking to do. And if you just tune in too, I got allergies, guys. Totally sorry about the snuffles. Might have to step off camera for just a second. But that's where we're at. Let's try to ignore it. So anyway, so if you're in that situation, you have, and you, that's why you take your pause for the cause. And it can be a short time depending on how much work you're willing to put in. Because any anything work ha worth having you have to put some kind of work in. And if you claim to be this quality woman, then what makes you a quality woman? And if you're saying that, and if you're preaching that, and if you're bragging about it, I want you to question yourself. And I want you to give me five reasons as to why you're a quality woman. And if it has anything to do with your looks, then baby, no, 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 no. We need to go a little deeper, okay? I was watching Love is Blind. <sighs> And I'm on like episode four or five and the young lady, I can't think of her name right now, but she has the kid. She's a single mom. She has a kid. She's a beautiful girl. And at the end, when old boy didn't choose her, I can't think of his name, but he didn't choose her. She then at the very end said that once he saw her, he's going to regret it. He's going to be breathless. And I was just like, man, girl, why'd you have to go there? Because the whole point of love is blind. Is getting to know a person's character, getting to know who they are, sight unseen. That's the entire point. And if he doesn't want you based upon your character, who you are and what you have going on, why would you then want your looks to make him or force him or coerce him to want to be with you? Like make it make sense. That just really bothered me. And I'm just like, wow, that's crazy. And ladies, you need to remember that. If who you are as you are showing up is not enough for this dude to want to date you exclusively, <coughs> it is not on you to try to go out of character, to try to bait him in, to want you. That's not on you. That's not what independent women do. What independent women do in a healthy way is they hold themselves down. They're self-sufficient. And then when they start dating, they create that space for a guy to come in and take a little bit of the load off their back. They come in, this guy will come in, he will see a problem that he can fix, whether that is putting gas in your car, whether that give, give you an oil change, whether that is picking up the groceries from the store, whether that is dropping you off lunch because you forgot it. Like those are little small things, right? But he will see a problem and he will fix the problem. However, if your guard is so up because you miss independent and you can do everything by yourself, then what's the point of even dating? What's the point of even saying you want a man? Because how can he even be a man if you're actually the man for him? And like, it just doesn't make any sense. And then it makes me think of women, and I've talked about this before, who are delusional. It's like you get so delusional in your mind and you are led to believe that you are the top tier woman. You're the top tier woman. You got it going on. And a lot of these things are based upon how you look. And of course, everybody wants somebody that they're attracted to. Heck yeah, they do. Don't nobody want to wake up and be scared out of their bed because it's a gremlin sitting next to you and just be scared out of your socks. Of course not. However, in today's society, we're putting a heavy weight on a woman's, on your appearance. And if you're leading with that, ladies, I'm going to tell you something. If you keep leading with your lady parts and showing literally everything, because nowadays it's a trend to just go out with the overlay that's completely mesh, fishnet see-through, throw you some pasties on, put a thong, uh, buy, uh, what is it? A thong pair of underwear. That's the outfit. And we're talking, you're going to brunch, you're going to lunch, dinner, and you're going to the club. And it just like, it doesn't make any sense. And what I need for more women to do is make sense. And if you don't know, I've always said this before. I said this in my video yesterday. If you don't know, if you're too independent, if you're leading with masculine energy, if you're putting up a guard, if you don't know how to pick, if your picker is off and you keep choosing the wrong dude, then you want to ask your brothers, your uncles, your boy cousins, you want to ask men who are not romantically 
like want you romantically and you want to ask your friends who know you for an unbiased opinion about what they think you are doing wrong and are doing better. And I will continue to say this because I'm telling you, you need to do this. I don't tell y'all to do nothing that I have not done. So you want to ask him, why is it that you think I've been single for so long? Do you think I'm a good woman? What are some things you think I could work on? And the thing is, you have to be completely emotional, intelligent to receive the constructive feedback. Because you can't say that you want to date and meet your dude and you've been praying for God and you begging for God. And then when someone shows up with constructive criticism and they don't mean you no harm, they just want the best for you. You get on the defense. You get on the defense. You don't want to hear it. You deflect, you point fingers, you justify. That does not make you a good woman. That actually makes you an ignorant woman. And I don't want you to be ignorant. And you don't have to be. There was for quite some time where I was delusional about who I was and what I brought to the table. Until I realized hindsight is everything. Until a couple dudes took me down through there and I was like in hell wondering how I got there. And then I rolled the tape back and I was like, girl, what are you doing? And that's when I started to put the pieces back together and rebuild myself. And that's why I'm here to tell you the steps to take. Now, if a lot of women don't want to listen, and I don't know what that's about. Like, why don't we want to listen? Why don't we, why do we get scared of our own reflection in the mirror when it's time to reflect on ourselves and see what we've done wrong and try to do things better? I don't understand what's wrong with us when it comes to that. And not all of us. I never say all women this or all guys that. But it makes me question, like, why can't we just take a look in the mirror at ourselves? Why do some of us believe that we have no flaws and we can do nothing outside of right? It makes nothing but right. It makes no sense to me. So if you're watching this and you know that you're independent, I can say that I'm independent. Usually an independent woman tends to be perhaps a single parent and or a woman who has been single for an extended amount of time. Or it could apply to a woman who are who is coming out of a bad relationship. She's found her freedom. She's found her voice. And she's found her strength. And so therefore, she was like, I'm not going to allow no dude to take me back down through there. She's mentally stronger. She's uh, spiritually stronger. And she's decided that I'm emotionally straight and I'm emotionally stable. And I will be dang if I allow another dude to whack me over the head like a whack-a-mole because he thinks I'm an idiot. And so for that independent woman, lastly, I just want you to understand this. You can be as independent as you want. I know you're raising your chill children or kid by yourself. I get it. I'm a single parent. Totally understand it. I got a 17-year-old. I know that you're you're working hard every day, two and three jobs. I know that it's sometimes hard to take a break, whatever your case may be. You're trying to build your business, your small business. You just got to let go from your job. You're just trying to figure things out. Whatever your case may be, you're just trying to balance your, your funds, your body. You're trying to be a chef and go to culinary school, whatever your thing may be. I want you to understand you can do you because that's attractive to a man. A man is going to find you doing you attractive. However... <coughs> If said man doesn't have the space to just fall into your line, excuse me, fall into your life and see where he can fill in the holes in the spots where you need help, then don't expect him to stick around very long because a man is there to help. He wants to help, protect, provide. That's what I believe in. I believe in God. And that's what men, excuse me, are here to do. That's what they want to do. Not that's what they're here to do. That's what the Bible says in some form or fashion, protect and provide. And so I need for you to learn how to soften it up, soften yourself, <laughs> lead with your soft girl energy. This is your soft girl season and just let them. And, you know, I, I know that can be challenging because after you've dated dum-dums, who dogged you out and who are mean to you and who talk crazy and who are disrespectful, who leave you on red, who give you the silent treatment, who are just disrespectful. It can be a challenge to receive a guy that is the opposite. And you will question, uh-oh, am I going to go back down through there? Is he the one? Oh, I ain't going about to go for this. But before you get to rolling your neck and bumping your gums at him and running him off, you need to have a conversation with God. If you don't believe in God, have a conversation with the universe. If you don't believe in the universe... Have a conversation with the tree. Have a conversation with yourself and be like, self, is this you? 
is Robert over here you or is he not you? I just need to know and I need for it to be clear because I've been through a lot and we're not trying to go down through that no more. That's your discernment. That's your women's intuition. That's your gut. And you always need to pay attention and listen to that if you don't do nothing else. So be Miss Independent, but don't be so independent that he can't even come in and do anything for you just to even be nice. He can't do nothing. He don't see where he fits in because he doesn't fit because you got it all covered. You miss independent, right? Wrong. Do yourselves a favor. Lean back. And if he wants to do something for you, let him. There's nothing wrong with that. You got it? Y'all got it in the comments? It was just a quick video today. Allergies are still acting crazy. But, um, and I've taken all kind of medication. And they're just, whatever. And so, AT&T is out. So, my phone is not working. Usually, at this time, I do my ride share. Because that's my hustle. I do my side hustle. But I can't even do it because my phone isn't working. So, I came on here to talk to you guys. Outside of that, if you ever want me to answer your dating or communicating question, DM me, inbox me, leave a comment. I am on, of course, TikTok here, YouTube here, uh, Facebook. I'm on Facebook and I am on Instagram, but I don't talk dating and communicating on Instagram. I talk about like what I'm drinking for the day. Like this is my drink of the day. It's a poppy. That's my prebiotic prebiotic drink for the day. But outside of that, if you want to book a one on one with me, feel free to do so. The links, every link that I'm talking about to my social media is in my bio and Coach B. Wiley on everything. I am a self-published author. This is my first book. I'm, I'm working on part two. It's Hello, My Name is Single, Ready to Mingle. That's me on the back. And I'm working on part two right now. And I'm working on several other books as well. If you want to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me and you're serious about getting yourself together and you want to learn how to use your voice, you want to learn how to stop dead and dating, you want to learn how to attract a different kind of guy because you're evolving and becoming a different kind of woman, a quality woman who wants to attract a quality man, feel free to go to my link. It's in there. Mymentor.life, Coach B. Wiley. And you can book your one-on-one -on -one with me. And if you're going to book your one-on-one -on -one with me, you need to understand that it's going to take more than one session. Because a lot of people will think that they can just get, and I ain't going to say what, what group of people think this is because it is annoying to me because I do this for us. And there are a certain group of women that I've noticed since I've been doing this over the years that think that they can come in and get one session and I'm going to solve all their problems that date back from 10 to 15 years ago. It doesn't make sense. Just like if you've been gaining weight over the last 10 to 15 years, you're not going to go in with your trainer on one workout session and think it's going to then all of a sudden you're going to lose all this weight that you've been pounding on and packing on for all these years. Make it make sense. However, you're not obligated to book me. Why? Because there are so many videos. There are probably at least... A thousand videos across my social media and that's on the low end i know on youtube alone i have about 800 and on tiktok i don't know i haven't counted but at least a thousand videos that's free content for you so go on there go on my youtube go on my tiktok that you're watching right now feed yourself share it and then if you need more and if you're serious then you book your session I know you're serious when the session is booked. You're not serious when you come into my DM saying what you're going to do because it should be done. That's how I know you're serious. And the reason why I come hard like that or it might sound like I'm hard, but I'm not. It's just this is my business. This is what I do professionally. I'm trained in this. And if you're serious and I want you to be serious because I want you ladies to do better. And so if you are, book me. I Oh, I coach guys too. I coach women, men. And I coach couples. I coach couples as well. So whatever you are, feel free. It's an equal opportunity over here. I love the people. So go ahead and book me if that's what you want to do. Outside of that, I guess I'll catch you on my next video. Thank you guys for the hearts. I'll talk to you later.